There's one thing Star Wars toy collectors love more than buying a new toy, it's getting a free one and getting to see a Star Wars movie. Let's talk about the 1997 release of the theater edition Jedi Luke Skywalker. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a whole new video. Oh, I get tired of saying that as much as you guys get tired of hearing it, but have to do it for the new viewers. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to go all the way back to 1997. Can you believe that's been over 30 years ago? Whew, makes you feel old, doesn't it? So what are we actually going to look at here? Well, we're going to talk about the time Hasbro and Lucasfilm gave away a free Star Wars figure for just going to see a Star Wars movie. Whew. Now, before we get started, as always, Patreon, blah, 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 YouTube member, blah, 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 exclusive content, blah, 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 you know all that. And, of course, get a shirt like this one right here at JunkmanMerch.com. Got all that crazy stuff out of the way. Let's just dig into this figure. 1997. I remember it. Before, not, before the release of this uh, figure, there was a lot of buzz on the internet. Yes, kids, we had the internet in the 90s. Uh, but there was a lot of buzz. No one knew exactly what this figure would be. There was rumors that it would be the 1997 release of Luke Skywalker that we saw at the end of Star Wars A New Hope where he has the yellow jacket and the medallion. That was rumored for a while because that figure was supposed to be out already or early 1997 and it kept getting delayed for no real reason and people thought it must have been delayed so they could release it with the new movie Return of the Jedi. Which didn't make that much sense, being that it wasn't a Return of the Jedi figure. But then again, didn't really have to be a Return of the Jedi figure, I guess. Now, although people talk about this being a free giveaway for Return of the Jedi, well, actually, Empire Strikes Back gave away something also, and Star Wars, but you really don't hear that much about it. Now, Star Wars was limited for its special edition release in 1997. For the L.A. premiere... Lucasfilm and Galoo gave out Micro Machine sets. These were three vehicles, the Falcon, Slave 1, and I said vehicle, but it was a Death Star 2, representing one from each film. That was only given out free for the LA premiere. But for The Empire Strikes Back, there was a free item given away for people that went to see it, and that was a Dark Horse Star Wars comic book, X-Wing Rose Squadron. That was given to fans free on opening night of the Empire Strikes Back Special Edition. You don't really hear much about those two, so I thought I'd just throw them in this video. Now, if you were around this time in 1997 getting hyped up for the Special Edition Return of the Jedi, you were all excited for March 7th, and then you were disappointed because the release date got moved. That right, they kept advertising it, March 7th, Return of the Jedi. Yes, but Lucasfilm and 20th Century Fox feared there was too much competition on March 7th, with the release of Private Parts, the Howard Stern biopic, and the Tim Allen comedy classic, Jungle the Jungle. So they moved the special edition of Return of the Jedi one week later, releasing it on March 14th, where it had no real competition for that weekend. Even the figure itself says March 7th on it, but the film wasn't released until March 14th. The only real competition it had was the Devil's Own. When fans did get to see Return of the Jedi and they got their free figure, some of them was disappointed, to say the least. I mean, this was a figure that had already been in the stores throughout 1996. First released on an orange card and then re-released on a green card with hologram full or without the hologram full sticker. Crazy times to be a Star Wars collector. Remember looking for those Boba Fett's in the 90s with .001 or .002 on the back of the card? <sighs> Crazy times. So they call this an exclusive figure. It really wasn't. I mean, the card might have been exclusive, but the figure, it was the same. Now, this Luke Jedi figure had gone through some changes already in 1996. It was first released with a brown vest and then changed to a more black vest like Luke in the film. Even the lightsaber handle got some changes in 1996, where some of that small detail on the lightsaber handle that came with the figure was redone. Overall, it was a decent looking figure, but I never liked that when you put the cloak on, it was really hard to get him to hold the lightsaber and pose real good. But it was a decent looking figure, at least for the time period. So how many of these were actually made? 150,000 of them, which makes it not really rare at all. Hell, it's probably got about the same production run of any figure at that time, give or take a few thousand. 
Now, I've seen it online. People say that this was an AMC promotion only at AMC theaters, but that's not true. This was a promotion for all theaters. Don't tell me in the comments how your little small two-screen mom-and-pop theater didn't get it, you know, for the major chains anyway. Always somebody in the comments section. Now, as I said earlier, the card was a little different. It did have a little icon that showed the Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition logo, some text at the bottom, and on the back of the card, it was a little different than the release one at retail. Not only did it say not for retail sale, <laughs> tell that to all the people that put it on eBay, right? And the other toys you could buy on the collection was a little different on the back of this card. But overall, the figure itself, it was the same figure again that we had since 1996. So out of those 150,000 of them, how many did each theater get? Well, if you lived in Los Angeles or New York, each theater got 100 figures. But if you lived in Sioux City, Iowa, or somewhere else in the country, your theater got 50 each. Now these were hot at the time. You gotta think each theater, 50 of them. Most people that saw this on opening night waited till after work to go see it. But if you went to that first screening during the day, you got a figure. So you can kind of guess by eight o'clock that night when most people was probably going out to see this movie, those 50 figures were gone. So people all over the internet was looking for this thing. I mean, one guy was looking to trade his gold Hot Wheels car for a Luke Skywalker theater edition. And then you had that guy. You know that guy, the one that's always complaining that the figures never got to the store. The employees took them all. That guy's always been around. So this figure around 1997 was selling somewhere between $50 to $60 online, sometimes a little bit more. What does it sell for now? Well, you can find this on eBay now in good condition for around $20 to $30. If you're in no desperate hurry for it, and it's been released since 1997, so you can't be in too much of a hurry for this thing, you can wait around and find it pretty darn cheap. But if you just like to waste money, you can buy it right now for a ridiculous price, like this guy did. Oh, fooling his money. Fooling his money, as they say. Did I get one of these special edition Luke Skywalkers at my local theater? Sadly, I didn't. I had to work, so I didn't get to go to the first screening on a Friday afternoon. But my best friend went to see it, and he told me they would only let him get one. He was going to get one for himself, one for me, but he told me the theater would only let him have one, one per person. I can understand that. And I said, well, dang, that's a shame. Oh, well, it's just basically the same figure. I didn't really care, but it would be kind of cool, especially at that time when all the hype was going around to have this thing. So I went to see Return of the Jedi, and that weekend went to my local comic book store. I was really good friends with the owner. We talked a while, and he asked me, you know, what I thought about the special edition and all that, and asked me if I got that figure. And I said, no, I had to work, but my best friend went there, and he's like, yeah, I saw him there. Uh, he had two of them in his hand. Never said anything to my friend. Russ, I knew. I knew this whole time. You know what that means? Freebies! Anyway, that's a look at the theater edition Luke Skywalker figure released in 1997. Did you have this? Did you remember getting hyped up trying to get it? Let me know all that and more in the comments below. And until the next video, thumb up so I know you like my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Junk man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.